Hey, what's up? Brandon from Custom Speaker Pods. Today we're going to answer the question, how much power do I need for my tweeters? So, the setup I have right here, I have a DS18 Pro GM 6.4. I also have a, TW, a Pro TWX1 from DS18. Uh, both are wired up into a G1800.4 amplifier and run from my Kenwood DMX 125 BT head unit. The output signal will be coming from my PC, my laptop, uh, using Roo, Room EQ Wizard, to generate a white noise signal as well as measure the frequency response using the microphone above. I've already set the gains for this speaker so I know that the output wattage of the amplifier going to this speaker is 100 watts, but I have the frequent or the uh, gain for the tweeter turned all the way down. What we're going to do is we're going to play the white noise, we're going to turn the volume up, and we're going to adjust the gain on the tweeter in order to create a flat uh, frequency response. Once we're done with that, then we're going to measure the voltage that the amplifier is putting out in order to give the tweeter that much power. Cool. So I will begin the white noise now. So here goes. So now that we saw that the frequency response curve was nice and flat after adjusting the gains on the amplifier, let's go ahead and see without the tweeter hooked up what voltage and what wattage is coming out of the amplifier in order to generate that signal. So now I've hooked up the multimeter, bypassing the capacitor, bypassing the tweeter. We're going to get the voltage, di voltage directly from the amplifier. Um, and to do this, we're going to set a 12,000 hertz test tone because the capacitor being used for this, the capacitor that comes with the tweeter is a 3.3 microfarad capacitor, and that gives a roughly 12,000 hertz uh, uh, crossover point. So at maximum volume, we are at 3 volts. So at 3 volts, we have 3.1 volts, 2.4 watts going to the tweeter, 100 watts going to the woofer, flat response. Take that information how you will. That's it. That's all I got. Peace.